The Senate has confirmed the appointment of 11 Supreme Court justices appointed by the President Bola Tinubu to fill the vacancies on the Apex Court bench. This confirmation was equal to the consideration of a report by the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Plenary or Legal Matters on Thursday's plenary. Of the committee, Senator Mohammed Mongonu, while presenting the panel report, said that the nomination and appointment satisfied the constitutional provision of Section 231, Subsection 3, which states that an individual needs 15 years' experience on the bar to be qualified for the Supreme Court's justice. That there is no criminal record or adverse report found against the nominees as record checks and other forms of investigation by relevant security agencies did not reveal any negative trace against them. Speaking on the committee report before the confirmation, some lawmakers expressed concern over the delay in the appointment of justices for the Supreme Court bench while commending President Tinubu for reflecting federal character in the appointment. I should also perhaps pass it to the executive, which is appointing authority. That here we are screening 11 justices for the Supreme Court at the same time. Very commendable act the president has done. But we shouldn't be doing this at this time. For so long these vacancies have existed. They could have been filled long before now. This is also drawn from page 9. Page 9 of this report. If you look at the distribution of the 21 justices of the Supreme Court of Nigeria as presently constituted, Mr. President, you will immediately see that great job was done in balancing nominations across the six geopolitical zones. I plead with my colleagues in the Senate, let us look at the budget of the federal judiciary, especially also in the Court of Appeal and industrial courts, all the courts. When you have relations in this court, you will find out that they are not even coping up. For the first time, we have a Supreme Court Justice from Plateau State. Justice Sankey is from Plateau. This is the first time that we are celebrating a Supreme Court Justice too. Meanwhile, the immediate past Senate President, Ahmed Lawan, called on the National Assembly and the Presidency to improve the funding of the judiciary. The time has come, Mr. President, for both the legislature and the executive arms to give the judiciary a worthwhile financial attention. We should give them more resources because they can do better. After hours of queries and commendations, the Senate approved the recommendation of the committee. The appointment of Supreme Court justices were recommended by the National Judicial Council, NJC, to fill vacant positions that arose as a result of the death and resignation of some justices of the Apex Court. In similar development, the upper chamber confirmed the appointment of Olayinka Oladunjui as a federal commissioner representing Lagos State in the National Population Commission. Distinguished colleagues, will the Senate confirm the nomination of Mrs. Oladunjui Sadad Olayinka for appointment as commissioner representing Lagos State? In the National Population Commission, those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. The Senate, however, adjourned its plenary till December 29 to allow for Christmas celebrations. Lawmakers will have to return after the Christmas holiday to consider and pass the 2024 appropriation bill. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.